Here's how to build a fresh level 50 gunslinger in Lost Ark. First of all, when you come out, you're going to have 261 skill point right after your power pass and other characters. And here are the skills we're going to allocate for a Peacemaker Ray build. Uh, starting off, we're going to use Spiral Tracker with Maintenance Exposures, Quick Step with Excellent Mobility, uh, Dexterity Shot with another Weakness Exposure, Peacekeeper with Excellent Mobility, and then we're going to put 10 in Shotgun uh, for a Tight Spot and 10 Shot Special Bullet. Uh, last request in quick prep execution, go buckshot, tight shot, unchained fire, sharpshooter, special bullet. Now, something to note is that when you acquire 268 skill point by completing the island skill point stuff, uh, you want to put it into here and do the in a tight spot here as well. Uh, this will cost you 268 skill point in total, which currently I don't have. And then finally, for our sniper skills, we're going to be putting 10 into uh, perfect shot, uh, stable stance. Kill confirm, enhanced shot, focus shot, uh, 10 point again, quick shot, double tap, quick finish, and finally 10 point into target down with quick aim, large magazine, and steady shot. This is going to be the Gunslinger Peacemaker raid build for a fresh level 50 account. Now Peacemaker is the class engraving that you should be using. Every time you switch weapon, it will give you a buff, uh, attack speed buff in handgun for example, or like a 10% damage boost in sniper, and it's really essential to bring all your damage, so you should try to acquire this as soon as possible. You can acquire this really easily by doing the uh, class engraving book questline on either the island or just side quest. Now a really important tip for a gunslinger is that to bind your identity to your mouse button. Uh, usually on your mouse there's two buttons on the side and you want to bind your identity to those buttons which make weapon switching significantly easier. Uh, the second thing is just to remember like how to switch your weapon around. So when you're in pistol mode, switching to up would be a shotgun and then go back down for a pistol and a pistol down for a rifle and then up for a uh, pistol. Uh, the easiest way to learn at first is to always switch back to your handgun. Um, so you're gonna do uh, pistols, shotgun, and then always switch back to your uh, uh, pistols. No matter what you do, always switch back to your pistols. So you wanna attack on pistols, shotgun, and then back to your pistols. This will make it dramatically easier to remember like what gun you're on, because you will always start and end on a pistols. So likewise, pistols, snipers, back to pistols. This will make it a lot easier to learn. That being said, here is how to play Gunslinger. Uh, first of all, your attack with the weakness exposure uh, tripod on it will provide a buff to your entire party member. And this is the primary thing you want to watch out for. Uh, currently, a couple one of your skills provide this buff. Uh, the most important one is Spiral Tracker, which is fairly easy to use. It will apply the exposed weakness debuff to the enemy for 6 seconds. Likewise, your dexterity shot will apply the exposed weakness and uh, debuff to your enemy for 6 seconds. Uh, when you get the tripod on your equilibrium, you'll be able to apply this debuff to your enemy for 12 seconds. However, since we don't have enough point right now, there's no debuff. Uh, this will be one of the other skills that you spec very early on whenever you get the spare skill point. Otherwise, the rest of your skill are pretty much just used for mobility. Uh, the somersault, and then the uh, quick shot, the uh, kick, and then dexterity shot is used as a mobility but also it will apply the debuff as I just mentioned. Uh, and then we have the bomb and the uh, bullet rain. These are just filler skill whenever you have no other ability up. But yeah, so you have the somersault, mobility, mobility, mobility. Uh, something to note is that when you are in pistol mode and you spacebar, you should always hold down a spacebar. If you don't hold down a spacebar, you do one very quick dash like this. However, if you hold down a spacebar, you actually do two dashes instead. Uh, here, you do one dashes as normal, but you dash a little bit further a second time. Like that. So it's a little bit better, so make sure you hold your spacebar and commit the entire dash through. Anyway, with that being said, the way to dish out DPS on Gunslinger is rather simple for a beginner. You pretty much just want to juggle your debuff and then use your hard-hitting snipers or shotgun skills. So the way you would do it is apply the exposed weakness debuff to your enemy, switch your shotgun to attack while the debuff is up, and then once the debuff is down, switch back to your pistols, apply the debuff again, and then attack using your snipers. Back to handgun, shotgun, and then pistols, and then snipers. Very basic. Sorry, I keep calling uh, pistols and handgun. It's I keep getting confused. A final tip that a lot of people doesn't know 
is that you can actually cancel out your sharpshooter skill by switching a weapon. You do not have to space bars. So usually when you're locked in the animation, you have to space bar out if you're getting attacked, for example, to dodge it. However, for the sharpshooter skills in specifically, you can cancel all of it by switching a weapon. So here I'm going to fire and I'll cancel out by switching my weapon. Uh, this will let you pretty much just, you pretty much just switch to pistol and then do a somersault if you need to dodge anything. And something that a lot of people doesn't know is that the shot when you come out from quick set can actually fire in a different direction. So I can actually dash away from the enemy and then fire on him still by simply juggling my mouse uh, to the direction I want to dash and then onto the enemy. So you can still make sure that the shot fire from a quick shot hit even uh, no matter what direction you're dashing. So I can dash sideways, hit him like this. So uh, pretty important to dish out a little bit of extra damage but especially important if you do PvP as this have a hard stagger on it. You. Oh, oops. Gunslinger is a dramatically fun cast once you're able to take it up, so hopefully you have fun with it as well. With that being said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me over at my Twitch, twitch.tv slash 1010game. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, I'll see you all over there.